It's too late, Doctor. Yes, you're right, Miss Thorny. I wonder where she came from. I found her lying in the street, sir. Her shoes were worn to pieces. No wedding ring. I see the old story. Another mouth for the orphanage. Until he's old enough for the orphanage, I'll be father and mother to him. Gentlemen, what's your name, boy? Oliver Twist. What? Who gave you that name? I did, sir. You see, I named my orphans according to a little invention of my own. For the given names according to the month, the surnames according to the alphabetical order in which they arrive. If it's in July, it's James or John and so on. And this lad here come in October. O for October, O for Oliver. He was the 20th that come that year. The 20th letter of the alphabet is T. T for twist. O for Oliver, T for twist. I calls him Oliver Twist. Simple, ain't it? Of course, I've lots of trouble with the hexes and the Zs. We simple, understand, Mr. Bumble. You know you're an orphan, don't you? The boy's a fool. I knew he was. You know that you have no father and mother, don't you? That you were brought up by the parish. What are you crying for? I hope you say your prayers every night and pray for the people who take care of you and feed you. You come here to be educated and to learn a useful trade. And so tomorrow morning, you begin by scrubbing the floor of the workhouse dining room. And after that,
Figures. For what we are about to receive, Lord, make us truly thankful. Amen. Night, Penny boy. Money? Want a place to sleep tonight? I do indeed. I know a nice old gentleman who'll give you lodging for nothing. That is, if any gentleman he knows introduces you. Does he know you? And does he know me? Oh no, not in the least. By no means. Certainly not. What's your name? Oliver Twist. Who's there? The Dodger. Who's the other? A new pal, Oliver Twist.
Wagon. Pleased to see you, Oliver. All of us. Ain't we, my dear? Yes, right yeah. now. Dodger, fetch a plate for Oliver. this morning, my dears. Mmm. Ain't they lined beautiful? Oh, what an ingenious workman. Oliver, wouldn't you like to make pocket handkerchiefs as easy as Charlie Bates? Very much, sir, if you'll teach me. But <laughs> My dear, shall we have a little game? I know. Just to amuse Oliver? I know. Hey, Oliver? <laughs> Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. 
going on here? Come on, Bullseye. Come in, dear. Still treating the boys again, are you? Right on. If I was one of them, I'd have cracked your head open long ago. Not too loud, Mr. Sykes. Oh, Mr. again, eh? What do you want now? Nothing. Nothing. You haven't poisoned it, have you? Where's the new boy? The coppers got him. Well, he might say something to get us into trouble. No. That boy won't squeal. Well, if he ain't squealed, then he's committed. There ain't nothing to fear until he gets out again. Just the same. Somebody has to go to the police station and find out what they've done with him. What do you say, my dear? She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. Yes, she will, Fagin. He is ready, Miss Rose. Thank you, John. They told me my mother died when I was a baby. That's the truth, sir. Every bit of it. You're not going to send me away, are you, Mr. Brownlow? Of course not, dear. Unless you give me cause. I never will, sir. Uncle dear, it's tea time. Oh, that's good, Rose, dear. My cousin Agnes. Look. What is it, Uncle? Oh, nothing, nothing, my dear. Excuse me, sir. It's Mr. Grimwig. Oh, that's nice, child. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Mr. Grimwig asked me if we were going to have rock cakes for tea. And when I said yes, he said he'd stay. Oh, won't you stay, dear? No, Uncle. We'll have tea in the sitting room. Come on. Good afternoon, Rouse. How do you do, Mr. Grimwig? Boy, how are you? So, this is the little boy who's been ill, eh? Huh? Hmm? Oliver, this is Mr. Grimwig. How are you, boy? Well, now, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Come along, some tea. Yeah. Nice looking boy, isn't he? <laughs> I never see any difference in boys. Who is it? What is it? All you know is you picked him up on the street. I know more than that. I questioned him and found him a very nice little fellow. Truthful. And quite different from the average boy from the workhouse. Ah, you're a sentimental old fool, sir. Mm. I beg your pardon, sir, for these books. Haven't they gone back yet? I'm sorry, sir, but... Oh, no, it, it's all right, Josh. It's my fault. I quite forgot. Oh, and his bill, too, and he's been so patient. Why don't you send Oliver with him? He'll deliver them safely. Giles, ask Master Oliver to come here, will you please? Oh, 
Oliver, dear, you remember the book stall? Uh... Oh, yes, very well, sir. Well, here are five pounds. You are to say that you have come to pay the four pounds that I owe. And you'll get one pound in change. I'll be back in 20 minutes, sir. Do you? Don't you? It's exactly ten minutes past four, old friend. My little brother! My dear little brother! Oh, Oliver! Let go! Please let go! Oliver, I found you! Thank God I found you! Oh, oh do come home, dear! Please come home! <laughs> go! She's not my sister, she's... Nancy, please, please. <laughs> you see, you see, he knows me. <laughs> come on, come on, Oliver. No, on, please, not me. Get in Delighted to see you looking so well, Oliver. That's mine, Fagin. Uh -huh. Hand it over. Fancy, that ain't fair. It ain't fair. Nimble with your fingers, ain't you? Yeah. You keep the books, Nancy, if you're fond of reading. Please send them back. Please send them back. Never lose faith, my friend. I did once. You mean your daughter? Yes, Agnes. Your queen is in danger. But you were right about her husband, weren't you? Yes. He's dead now. And uh, Agnes? Oh, I... I don't know. She's going to start, man. No, I ain't. Keep still. No, I won't. What do you think of that? You wanted to get away, did you?
I suppose he'd better not wear his best clothes tomorrow, Eddie. Oh, oh certainly not. By no means. Please. He's not at home. I'm Mr. Brownlow's niece, Miss Maley. Oh. Well, I've come to return these books and this money. Oh, won't you come in? Down. I don't understand it. Well, I'm putting my life and the lives of others in your hands. But before I speak, I must pledge you to secrecy. You have my word. I, uh, I brought the books and the money back because Oliver wants Mr. Brownlow to know that he's not a thief. But why didn't Oliver come himself? He's in the hands of peace. But why are you? I'm one of them. I've been, ever since I was Oliver's age. And I want to save him if I can. Who are these people? Where are they? I can't tell you. Not now. But why if... No, please. My uncle will be back very soon. Please wait. Then let me bring my uncle to you. He'll know what to do. Any time, any place. Won't you please? Very well then. Next Sunday night at 12. And every Sunday after. I'll be walking on London Bridge. Trust me, Mrs. Corney. You know as much about me as I know about you, my dear. I need money bad, Mr. Fagan. And they all tell me you're the man to come to. Mm. Depends upon what it is and how much you want for it, my dear. I'm a businessman. Kept it all these years. I knew the time had come when someone would... Toby, see who that is. I need a boy. 
a small boy. Nancy, fetch us a jug of beer, will you? Go on, Fagin. You needn't mind me. Tell him what you were thinking. <laughs> You're smart, Nancy, ain't you? Ain't she, Bill? Uh, she's a clever girl. An honor to her sex. I wish it was all like her. Go on, get him ready. Going out. Are you going to help me get away? Yes, dear. But this isn't the time. Promise me, Oliver, that you'll do exactly as I tell you, won't you? Remember, whatever happens, you're not to blame. You know what that is? You know what that is? Yes, sir, I bought it. And if you don't do what I tell you, My dear. Good night. Take this, and when I put you through that window, go straight ahead until you come to the street door. Open it quiet.
child. The doctor, run. Rose, bandage it. Edwin, hot water. Fine. You're not going to be out on me tonight, are you, Bill? What is today? Sunday. I've been nursing you for weeks, Bill. You've been awful sick. You wouldn't have done what you've done just now if you'd known that, would you, Bill? Well, then. No, I wouldn't. Don't you know the devil when he's got an overcoat on? Well, Bill, how are you, my dear? None the better for seeing you. <laughs> Have a drink, Fagin.
my uncle. As you do. We waited for you last Sunday night. I couldn't get away. I was kept by force. It isn't easy for me to leave unless he knows. But tonight he was drunk. drunk. Have you any news for us? Well, only this. But Sagan carries round his neck something that belonged to Oliver's mother. Then it is your duty to give this thief up to the police. No. No, I'll never do that. Never. Oh, but this that Sagan has. Oh, if I could only see it for one moment, perhaps I could... If I can get hold of it, I'll bring it to you. If I do this, you won't turn them over to the police, though. Not any of them. You have our promise. Can't we do something to help you? Oh, there must be something. Think now. No. No, nothing. Nothing, thank you. Well, I... I must go now. We may be watched. Oh, no. No, please. Oh, pretty well, then. As you wish. God bless you, Master. Thank Good you, ma'am. Good night. see me. I know it. You saw her face clearly. You're sure it was Nancy? Quite sure. <laughs> Get your coat, Charlie. We're going to see. again, for him to hear. Tell your what? About Nancy. You followed her? Yes. To London Bridge? Yes. Where she met two people. So she did. A lady and gentleman she'd gone to before of her own accord, who asked her to give up her pals, which she did, to tell them what house we met at, which she did, what time we went there, which she did. She did all this of her own accord, without any threat, didn't she? That's the way it was. What did they say about last Sunday? They asked her why she didn't come. She said she couldn't. Why? Why? Tell him that. She said she couldn't go out. 
without telling him where she was going. And tonight. Tonight, she got him drunk. Dead drunk. Let me go. Bill! Bill! Let me out. Don't talk to me. It ain't safe. Not too violent, Bill. Not too bold, Bill. Crafty. Crafty. I like the lamp, Bill. Leave it, please. There's light enough for what I gotta do. Bill, why'd you look at me like that? You may have. No, 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 you was watched. Every word you said was heard. Then you know that I was talking to you, Bill. Do you hear me? Anything doing in town, Ben? They talk of a murder, that's hey. all. Honorable murder to us, too. Who done it? A man by the name of Sykes. They'll get him, too. Took his dog along. They can prove he's an accessory before the fact. He'll hang. Cellar window. Where's the other? Done away with himself, maybe. Must put a 
Yes, you mean? No help for it. How did he get here? Alone. Just now. Where's Fagan? They've taken him. Well, why don't you say something? You gonna sell me to the police? Or do I stay in until this man hunts over? Stay? If you think it's safe. It always has been. Is, is she buried? Such ugly things above the ground. What's that knocking? There's no knocking, Bill. Not a sound. Give me your hand, Colby. Chivalry. Larger. Don't come near me. Nancy. Poor Nancy. Listen, you two. I'm not afraid of him. If they come here, I'll give him up. You hear me? I'll give him up. Yeah. 
very old man. Somebody's come to see you. What right have they got to butcher me? Who are you? What do you want? You sent for Oliver Twist? There's something you want to give him. It's a lie. It's a lie. You're on the verge of death, Fagan. Now, if there is anything you can... There's a little present for you, Oliver. See there. Whisper, Oliver, dear. Take me outside. Outside. That door first. And if I tremble when we pass the gallows, never mind. Hurry, Oliver. Hurry. Softly. Softly. Not so slow. Fast. We'll go home now. Poor Mr. Fagan. Won't they forgive him, Miss Mary? They have forgiven him, Oliver. Just now. Look, Mr. Brownlow. There's writing inside the ring, Mr. Fagan gave me. What does it say? Philip 2-A-G-M-E-S. You're going to keep me with you, always, Mr. Barlow? Of course, Oliver. Always. 